Despite having just received a big old update, there are still some sound packs and producer packs that are not available in GarageBand for Mac. Well, not officially anyway. In this video, I'll show you how to add all of the content from the currently iOS only Modular Melodies sound pack and Pom Pom and Tosin Abasi producer packs to GarageBand for Mac. The way this works is actually quite straightforward. All we have to do is open a GarageBand for iOS project file that contains loops or instruments from one of the three sound packs not currently present on Mac in GarageBand for Mac. We'll be prompted to download the missing content, and once that's done, we'll have access to all of the content that works in GarageBand for Mac. Everything except live loop grids, essentially. Alright, here in GarageBand for iOS, I have a project I made to demo the sounds that came with the most recent Tosin Abasi producer pack. The easiest way to get this project onto my Mac is to tap and hold on it, select share, and then choose to share the actual project file. Then I can just airdrop it across to my Mac. On my Mac, the project file is here, and if I open it, I get an alert that additional content needs to be downloaded. I then need to enter my system password into the Apple Music Apps installer window, and then when I hit install software, the missing sounds will be added. Now, this doesn't just add the missing sounds for this particular project though. If I go to the Loops browser and filter the loops by specific sound packs, you can see that the Tosin Abasi pack is right here, along with all of its 170 plus Apple loops. This works in exactly the same way for other currently unreleased on Mac sound packs, and it doesn't just give you access to loops. If I follow the same process for the Pom Pom producer pack, this time opening a GarageBand for iOS project that only contains a single loop from that pack, downloading the additional content will also make its 13 instrument patches and 4 drum kits available for use too. GarageBand for Mac's library also has the ability to filter by sound pack here. You can see Pom Pom on the list of available sound packs, and I can now use the brilliant instrument and drum sounds in my Mac projects too. If you don't have an iPhone or an iPad but still want to access all of the amazing loops and sounds from these packs, don't worry, I've got you. A link to a GarageBand for iOS project file that contains loops from these currently iOS only sound packs down in the description. Just download the project files, open them on your Mac and follow the steps outlined in this video and you'll be good to go, though note you will need to be running an up to date version of GarageBand for Mac for this to work. Let me know your thoughts on hacking these packs into GarageBand for Mac down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on the way past if you found this video helpful. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see it. And for more information on that big recent GarageBand for Mac update, watch this next.